Hello everyone, if you're frustrated with uh, your rigid compressor, it keeps blowing the fuses, uh, humming and blowing the fuses. What I end up determining, one of the problems it could be is this uh, relief valve here. So if I was to say anything to anybody, I would say the first thing you wanna do is try and change this relief valve. Because what it does is it it uh, regulates, lets the, uh, the, the, the pressure control know how much pressure is in the tank and also releases uh, pressure off the top of the, uh, the motor off the head, just so that when it starts again, it um, it doesn't have to build up, it doesn't have to work against so much uh, pressure on the head. So this will this pipe will go to the relief valve and it'll actually go back to a control that's on the pressure control. Um, so what I was having is that when I shut the when I shut the compressor off, um, or when it got to the, to the uh, cutoff point, the highest pressure, a lot of I would just hear a lot of air rushing out, and then the motor would hum and it would kick up kick this um this this uh the switch off right this reset switch so i'd have to keep pushing that it would come on it would, it would run a little bit more it would hum making all kind of crazy noises so one of the things i did first was um you know the, the long road to finding out determining what was it was is change this uh, pressure control um so that, it's not too difficult to to replace um it was one of the first things i did um, you know, just a matter of taking off the wires, make sure you make a little graph so you know which one, where the wires go back on the new one, and just unscrew it. Obviously, take all the air out of the pressure, out of the tank first. You unscrew it, screw the new one in, uh, reconnect the wires. Um, this this uh, hose goes from here back to the relief valve. So, um, I was getting a lot of air coming out of, out of this part here. I'm not sure what it's called. A lot of air was coming out of here, then it would click off and it was humming, all kind of crazy stuff going on. So I changed the, the pressure control first. That didn't fix it. Um, and then I went and I actually changed this, just recently just changed this pressure control, uh, this, this uh, relief valve. And uh, you have to look online and see which one's gonna fit yours. Mine didn't fit exactly. Um, it, it, I'll show you the old one that I had, but this one comes with a, a female and a male uh, a, a, a screw. And it actually has a uh, um, like a compression ring in it, and there's also um, inside this tubing you you place you know, the old one. You'll see it in the old one. It has like a, a small piece of brass that goes up in here with a flare on the end, just to keep just to keep the the uh, this um, hose from from squeezing and, and pinching off when you screw this in and tighten it. So it's it it uh. You know, it's pretty self-explanatory when you get it. Um, and it's it's not too hard. You unscrew it from here, take this this off. Um, and this has got a flare on it, so it just goes right on there. That, that was pretty simple. This is the only thing that's a little bit tricky just to understand. Um, this this was the old one. This is this is the uh, the one that was in there. And as I'm saying, uh, it, it went in like this. This is the pipe that has that hose on it. And as you see, it has a compression ring on it okay so that goes in there and inside here was what i'm talking about i took it out and obviously reused it with the uh with the new one but in here there was like a, a little like a quarter inch long tube that went in there with a flare on the end and uh just to keep this from from you know when this thing squeezes it keeps this hose from you know pinching off and uh so that went right in here that's the way it used to look. And then there's obviously came with this ring, this uh, this nut that went on and compressed it. Okay, that's how it stayed on. So a little, the new one's a little bit different. Um, you just gotta, you know, obviously look on Amazon to see which one matches to the closest to what you have. There's another one that I bought, that obviously didn't work. This one has like a flare on the end, you can see. That's not gonna, that's not any good because really you don't have a flare. Um, that's, this is not gonna work. You know that's not going to work on there. Plus, it doesn't even go in there. If you were, if you're skilled, you could probably drill this out with some kind of drill and use it. But I, I prefer to get the one that I got with the compression. Uh, like I said, that, that has a female part down here, and then this the top part screws in there. Okay. Um, and also the the uh, if you want to change your pressure control, uh, this is the one that I bought for this this rigid uh, compressor. It's an obviously you can see what it is an LF10 4H. Um, and this compressor is, it's a rigid, uh, two and a half gallon. And that's the, uh, the model number right there.
Okay, it comes with a box on top. Um, also, if you know, one of the things I tried too is that it has a cut in and cut out. You can see here, they, they refer to it here. You turn clockwise to increase both cut out and cut in pressure. The cut in and cut out is pretty much the, the cut out is like when you, it goes all the way to like, say you set it to 125 pounds. This one, when it comes, is already set. You can see there, 95 to 125. So at 125 pounds, it would cut out, which means it would shut off. And then, and then when you started using it, uh, the, you started using the air, it would get down to 95, that's when it would cut in. So it would go back, it would, so we'd get down to 94, it would, the, the compressor would turn on, go all the way back, you know, so it would cut in, and then it would go all the way up to 125 and cut out again. So you can actually adjust it. There's two, uh, there's two, where am I? Okay, so right here, you can see these here, these are the cut ins and cut outs. Um, so you would adjust these, but just, uh, you know, do it small increments, things like that to uh, increase or decrease it. Um, the, uh, the, the pressure control came with a, with a instruction. So just go by that. Okay. So it seems to be working. And I just wanted to let you all know, um, hopefully it helps you if you happen to have a rigid uh, compressor similar to that. I was just about to to throw in the garbage. And the last thing I was going to change uh, was the, the this uh, pressure valve. So thank goodness I did, because um, a new compressor like this, similar, I went to Home Depot, is like 300 and something dollars. So I've had this for probably 10 years or so, and it works pretty good. Um, so I hope this uh, video uh, helps you save a little money and uh, and, and uh, we're able to repair your compressor uh, without uh, you know throwing it away or spending more money on a new one. Have a great day.